Fairfield Beach had significant damage from the Cat 1 storm. It could take months to fix the structure hit hard by the massive waves you see there that ripped off banisters and planks. This part of the beach is shut down for now as structural engineers assess the damage. And we escaped a direct hit from the storm, but parts of Broward County did see coastal flooding out there. And Local 10's Terrell Fournay joining us live once again from Fort Lauderdale Beach to show us. Terrell. Calvin, what a day a day makes. You know, 24 hours ago, this portion of A1A was impassable just because of all of the standing water here. Most of it has since receded, but even though that has happened, we know that the effects of Hurricane Nicole will be felt across our area for some time to come. A partially cloudy sky gave way to a full moon Thursday night over a much more calm Fort Lauderdale Beach. Workers spent much of the day cleaning up the mess left behind by Hurricane Nicole. And experts in Broward say the daylight revealed significant erosion along South Florida's coastline. We've seen you know, the beaches south of Port Everglades have had some erosion impact from you know, a preliminary assessment. And that means storm surge hit vulnerable beaches especially hard in Fort Lauderdale, Dania Beach, and Hollywood. But city leaders in Hollywood are thinking long term to reduce the threat with projects like adding sand dunes, raising streets, and public seawalls. It is something that we've been working to address and, pl and planning for, and we have several programs that we're looking to implement to try to improve the situation. The monster waves damaged the Deerfield Beach Pier so bad that city officials shut it down. Banisters and planks were ripped off. Pretty strong winds, strong storm. And a section of the 81-year-old Anglin Fishing Pier in Lauderdale-by-the-Sea collapsed under the weight of the water. A witness sharing this cell phone video of the moments right before the collapse. It's really sad to see it snap right there because now we don't know what's going to happen next. It's basically unfishable for all of us now. And so we know that all of the sand, crews have been very successful in getting that off of the street and at least closer to the shore, although they still have to get it much closer to the shoreline. Also, this is a process that will be ongoing. The repairs to those piers, we know that uh, that will be timely and that will be costly, something that could take months, if not years. But the Army Corps of Engineers, they will be assisting officials here in Broward County um, just determining which areas of the shoreline across South Florida need the most immediate attention. Reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, Terrell Forday, Local 10 News. Terrell.